Hey everybody, welcome back to Foodrec.tv. I'm Toby, and in this quick video, I want to show you some new post-processing software, maybe we should call it pre-processing, that has me really impressed. DxO Labs, the creator of Photolab, Film Collection, Nick Collection, and a few others, including Pure Raw, has just released version 3 of Pure Raw. This is Raw Enhancement Software. That name sounds a little funny. Basically, it's super simple. You run it at the beginning of your post-processing workflow, and you can either do that on an individual image basis or batch process a bunch of those. For those of you who have followed me for a while, you know I'm a big fan of Topaz AI, which in recent months really is just focused on Topaz Photo AI software that's denoising, sharpening, and enlarging all in one app. With Topaz, you have the option to run it at the beginning of the post-processing workflow or later in the flow. Topaz claims you'll have better raw noise reduction if you run it at the beginning on the original raw file. And I have found the results to be just okay. And when I compare them to the new DxO Pure Raw 3, I'm pretty blown away by how much better DxO software is working. The headline to the new software is using their Deep Prime XD. That's extreme detail noise denoising technology. They're claiming two and a half stops of ISO noise reduction. I haven't carefully done any controlled testing, but I love what I'm seeing. Basically, images are coming out much cleaner with no loss of detail and, more importantly, no weird artifacts being introduced. I mean, noise reduction is always kind of this balance, right, between reducing noise and reducing detail. And sometimes I find when using Topaz at the beginning of my workflow, it's just smoothing things out way more than I'd like to see and occasionally introducing some weird artifacts. I have not had any concerns with the results from dozens of photos that I've run through DxO Pure Raw. I also love how simple DxO Pure Raw 3 is to run. Just a few quick clicks with no decisions to be made on your part and the images reappear in Lightroom looking fantastic. Now there are secondary benefits to doing this noise reduction early on in the process. As you develop this image, you're actually going to get a little bit more dynamic range, possibly, because you clean up the noise in the shadows, you can then brighten those shadows more without seeing or introducing that noise. Another really nice benefit to DxO Pure Raw 3, or change, I should say, Fuji owners, Fuji owners of the X-Trans sensors, it now is going to work in Pure Raw 3 and Photolab 6.4, which is also available today. In addition to this noise reduction, Pure Raw offers options for levels of lens softness correction, as well as the ability to toggle vignetting and chromatic aberration corrections. And photographers can actually access the whole image area captured by the sensor, avoiding the crop that's enforced by some other software when correcting deformations. I want to take a moment and walk you through a quick edit. I've got the software already installed here. The plugin is already installed in Lightroom. And I just have this ISO 3200 from actually a crop sensor, Canon R10, right here with me. And yeah, 3200, pretty noisy. I'm going to go into File, Plugin Extras, Process with DxO Pure Raw 3. That's going to pop up this little box quite quickly. And you have four raw processing and denoising technologies. It's the Deep Prime XD that is now available in this DxO Pure Raw 3 third version. It's going to take the longest amount of time, but it's going to give you the best results. If your images don't have too much noise, but you'd like to see them processed a little bit better, Deep Prime or even Prime is probably going to give you just fine results, and it's not going to take nearly as long. You can see that you have the other optical correctness switches that you can turn on or off. I've left all of these settings on their default value, and I'm just going to come down here and hit Start Processing. It lets me know that I've already done this image, so I'm going to just use a unique name so that it gets processed again. I'm running this on an M1 Pro 14-inch MacBook, and I've been happy with the speed. As you said, or as you saw, it suggested that it was going to be about 30 seconds, and that's about what we're seeing here. I'm just going to speed this up real quick. All right, and we're back in Lightroom looking at the DxO process. It builds a collection with that image in it. You can pop back up into the subfolder that it builds there. And here is the image we're looking at. We can give this a star rating, come back to this image, and where's the original? Right here? No, here. Let's look at these two images side by side for a moment and see the changes that have been made. Pretty significant 
difference. And what I love is when we look at that finer detail in the hat, we don't have any weird artifacting. We don't have any weird smoothing. It remains that texture of that wool material that makes up the cowboy hat. Really impressed with this software. Here are a few more examples before and after running them through the software. Now, if you're watching this and you own Topaz AI, maybe on my recommendation or someone else's, and you feel a little glum that there's something better that's come along, I think there's absolutely value in having both pieces of software. DxO is what I will use at the beginning of my post-processing system with higher ISO images. I'm going to run them through the Pure Raw 3. Then over the course of the editing, I'm probably going to take selective pieces, usually my subject, into Topaz Photo AI. See, DxO isn't really sharpening, it's just reducing noise. In a way, that can make images appear more sharp by reducing the noise, which can soften an image. But to really finish an image, especially wildlife with feathers or fur, it's nice to have that additional ability to sharpen that Topaz Photo provides. I'm going to link to both pieces of software right down below. Both provide free trials. The new DxO Pure Raw will cost $129 to purchase. Along with post-processing, I have released my 55-page ebook on post-processing and I'm offering it at a pay-what-you-will-want amount. You can find out more about that at photorec.tv slash ebook. That's all I got. Hit that quick thumbs up for a quick look at DxO Pure Raw. And if you have any questions at all, you can leave those as comments right down below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>